My Early Times by Charles Dickens. This is a Folio Society edition. It comes with a slip cover, sort of a deep red. And this, which I think is a very pretty book, this is a paper size. It may look textured. It's textured in the sense that the, the, there's some roughness to the paper or some texture to the paper. And then this design work here, you can actually feel something there. It's got this gold trim and then quarter bound in cloth. I think it looks very pretty. This sort of looks like kind of a vellum or an art vellum or something, but really it's a, it's paper. Well, I suppose vellum is it. Let's not get into all that. Okay. What this is, is a collection of, it's, it's not, Dickens did not put this together as a one piece, as one book. This is a collection of his writings about his early times. Apparently he did write and then destroy a bit of an autobiography about his early times that he used to write before he destroyed it, of course. That's supposed to be him. Before he destroyed it, that he used to write David Copperfield. That was a... took me a long time to get to the word David Copperfield from the beginning of that sentence. David Copperfield is generally considered to be his most autobiographical novel. But after he wrote it, apparently he destroyed his, what he had written as an autobiography. But there are lots of his writings about his youth. And so this is a collection of those writings put together in a comprehensive, well, let's not say comprehensive, in, 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 in a hole that is supposed to be comprehensible anyway, let's say. So it, it's not supposed to feel like disjointed writing. This is an alphabet printer, so at some point Dickens talks about using something like this to teach him his ABCs, I suppose. All right. But I say I suppose because I haven't read this yet. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm in the middle of reading David Copperfield, which made me, which reminded me that I have this book, A London Theater Crowd Contending for a Seat. I do like Dickens. Um, but... I've never, as I say, I've never read this. I haven't really even dipped into it. I mean, when I first got it, I bought it used. When I first bought it, I did, you know, read a few passages here and there and look through it, but I have never gone back to it. So it's not, it's not, a, it's not particularly thick. I mean, it's, it should be easy to read and there's, uh, there are plenty of illustrations. This would be a, a, this wouldn't take too long to go and read it. And at some point, Maybe after I finish David Copperfield, I'll have a good look because um, it will get me more interested in his early life. It's a Folio Society book, as I say, so it'd be Smith's own binding and good long lasting paper that went yellow. Let's see when this one, paper's thick enough. It's not anything to write home about. This was put out in 1988, this edition. Still looks great. I think it does. So that's uh, my early times, mostly by Charles Dickens. They made a few little uh, corrections or, you know, they maybe some spelling things, that kind of a thing. But I think the, uh, the person who compiled it said it's 99% Charles Dickens. Okay. Uh, put out by the Folio Society.